Greetings to all of you. My dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, a warm welcome to all of you from your Pastor Yeti. Friday, our prayer moment together. We walked through the whole week and a new story. And we end up on our Friday to pray with each other. And we meet each other on Monday for a new story, a new value, new beliefs, new reactions, and new prayers. So come with me. The narrative. Lord, where can I find life but in you? Teach me the error of seeking to reduce you to manageable proportions and to make the invisible visible. Protect me from the subtle forms of adultery in which I worship and serve something in your created order above you. I know that only one thing can occupy the center of my being and that if it is not you, it is an idol that is not worthy of my allegiance. I thank you that when I do succumb to the sins of disobedience, your grace always reaches further than my rebellion. Still, I desire to delight in you, in you alone, in you above all else, and I am grateful for the gift of your word that guides me in the way I should go. Your revelation teaches me how to live and gives me the perspective I so greatly need in a world of uncertainty. Orthodoxy. Lord God, you have revealed your perf perfect character and will in Scripture. Your Word teaches the way that leads to fullness of life and provides the wisdom I need to make the right decisions and to value the right things. You have revealed your law not to imprison me, but to liberate me from the prison of self. You have set my feet on a high place, and now you call me to submit to your will and obey your commands. And I know that the more I do this, the more I am liberated from the bondage of the world the flesh and the devil. Thank you for the grace to make me become the person you always intended me to be. Everything you ask me to do is in my best interest and everything you ask me to avoid is destructive. May I learn more clearly the freedom of submission as I trust in your character and obey your precepts. Orthopathy Lord, let me increasingly delight in your law and meditate on its life-giving truths. I want to be a person of the world who not only hears it but reflects on it and practices it. As I read the passage of Holy Scripture, I see that all things matter and that there is no dichotomy between the things we call spiritual and the things we call secular. Granted, I may receive a growing wealth of biblical perspective 
on the circumstances of life so that it will walk in wisdom, in trust, in submission, in obedience and in love. May I express my real freedom in Christ in acts of life-giving obedience and trust in your ways. And when I slip into disobedience, may I return quickly and be thankful for your patience and forbearance. Orthopraxy, O oh Lord, You have revealed your will and your ways in your word. In its passage, I discover truths about you, about myself, about others, and about your world. Grant me the grace to overcome the spiritual and moral inertia that keeps me from being a regular student of the Bible. May I read its pages meditate on the words and truths and hide your word in my heart so that I will not succumb to temptation and sin but be increasingly honoring to you. Grant that I will choose to set my mind and heart on the things above where Christ is seating in the heavenly places. I want you to be defined by, by the truth of your word rather than to lies of this passing world system. As I learn and reflect on your truths, I want to respond with unconditional commitment, knowing that I love you because you first love me. Amen. May the Most High God bless you in your mornings, noontimes and evenings. And tell Him, I love you, Lord, because you first loved me. And this is expressing your relation, your fellowship with Him. What everything happened in between you are still in that loving care, in that loving moment with Christ. As much as he is seated on the right hand of the Father, he is not sitting on a chair. He did what he had to do according to the will of the Father. And so now, He got everything in his power. He is the one who can give you everything. So don't hide yourself. Come as you are. Let him bless you and the ones close to you. And as much as you reach out to others, if there are no words, show them your love. Touch him with the embrace of your hugs, your handshaking, that they feel, hmm, wonderful. Because through your life, you can make a difference in this world. Blessings to all of you, my dear ones. We hear each other for a new week on Monday. For those who are committed to this meditation, have a wonderful weekend. A blessed, joyful, experiencing new weekend almost to come. Or for those who are not working on Friday, you can start in an early, long weekend. So, blessings, my dear ones. This is your pastor, Yeti. Bye.